Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Category. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your category's host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a competition of probably our two furthest geographical locations. As the Blue Valley Southwest Timberwolves, coached by Kathy Kerr, are taking on the Shawnee Mission North Indians, coached by Kim Grinnell. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants, first from Southwest. I'm Zach, and I'm a senior. I am also, hmm? I'm also Zach, and I'm a senior. I'm Joe, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Seth, and I'm a senior. I'm Michael, and I'm a senior. And our competitors from North. I'm Antonio, and I'm a g junior. I'm Walter, and I'm a senior. I'm Emily, and I'm a senior. I'm Jacob, and I'm a senior. Um, I'm Alyssa, and I am a junior. All right. Well, we got all those questions right, so I feel pretty good about that. Here in the first round of categories, we will take turns answering questions. If a team answers uh, correctly, they re will be rewarded with a point for their team. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal that category. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by the Shawnee Mission North Indians. And so here's the first question, and the category is world history. Which country's neutrality was fully respected until 1798 when it was invited, invaded by the French? Jacob. Switzerland. It is Switzerland. Timberwolves literature is your question. Answer this question from the works of Kipling. What did Gunga Din give to poor damned souls? Michael. A banana. He did not give him a banana. Indians, chance to steal this literature question. Answer this question from the works of Kipling. What did Gunga Din give to poor damned souls? Walter. A pat on the back? Not a pat on the back. A drink. A drink. Indians, we are coming back to you with science is the category. What sort of solution exhibits equilibrium between a, the dissolved and crystallized solute? Timberwolves, chance to steal the science category. What sort of solution exhibits equilibrium? between the dissolved and crystallized solute. Zach S. Isotonic. Not take isotonic. We're looking saturated, saturated solution. Timberwolves, you do get the next question. It is business. What organization grew out of vigilance, uh, out of vigilance committees set up by local advertising clubs to monitor false advertising? It does have an alliterative name. Michael. Better Business Bureau. Better Business Bureau. Shawnee Mission North, religion is your category. What, the ancient Sumerians were polytheistic. What does that mean? Mm. Antonio. They believe uh, in many gods. In many gods, very good. Current events for you, Southwest. China just recently announced it'll end which controversial policy effective next March? Zach S. Uh, only having one child? One child, very good. Indians, coming back to you, vocabulary. It's multiple choice. Pick out the antonym of germane. Is it infectious, frank, irrelevant, correlative, necessary? Jacob. Frank. I'm sorry, cannot accept that. Timberwolves, chance to steal this vocabulary question. Pick out the antonym of germane. Is it infectious, frank, irrelevant, correlative? Zach N. Irrelative. It is, it is irrelative. Irrelevant. Irrelevant. <laughs> Sorry. I knew which one you were going for. You're okay. Timberwolves, we are coming back to you with math. The numbers 6, 496, 8,128 are called perfect because they have a positive integer Oh, because they have a positive integer which is equal to the sum of its factors. What perfect number follows six? Time on that one. Indians, chance to steal this math category. The numbers six, 
496, 8,128 are all called perfect numbers because they have positive integer, or they are a positive integer that is equal to the sum of its factors. What perfect number follows six? Jacob? Is it 12? It is not 12, it's 28, 28. One, two, four, seven, and 14. Indians, you do have the next category is U.S. Geography. Which U.S. state capital is the site of Daniel Boone's grave? Antonio? Charlotte. It is not Charlotte. Tim Rose, chance to steal this U.S. Geography question. Michael? Frankfurt. It is Frankfurt. Timberwolves coming back to you. This time the category is world geography. Name the only Central American country that borders four other Central American countries. Seth. Guatemala. Guatemala. Very, very well played. Indians coming back to you. Fine arts and theater is your category. Was the fictional character Willie Loman created by Eugene O'Neill, Arthur Miller, or Edward Albee? Walter. Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller. Timberwolves, coming back to you. General knowledge, specifically manners. According to Emily Post, what should you do to your donut before dunking it? Seth. Take a bite. It does not take a bite. Indians, chance to steal this general knowledge of manners category. According to Emily Post, what should you do to your donut before, before dunking it? Walter. Uh, pick it up with a napkin? It's not pick it up with a napkin. It's break it in half. Break it in half. Those aren't rules I live by. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Indians, you do have the next category. It is current events. A Russian airliner crashed in the Sinai Peninsula in which country, killing all 224 aboard? Jacob. Egypt. It is Egypt. Timberwolves, coming back to you, United, United Nations history. Only once in its history has the UN General Assembly given anyone a standing ovation. That time was 3 a.m. on December 10th, 1948. The honoree was a lady who just led the drafting of the Declaration of Human Rights. Who was she? <phone rings> Indians, chance to steal this United Nations history. Only once in its history has the UN G General Assembly given anyone a standing ovation. That time was at 3 a.m. on December 10th, 1948. The honoree was the lady who had just led the drafting of the Declaration of Human Rights. Who was she? Jacob? Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt. Indians, coming back to you, this time it's a sport quote. Complete this Joe Lewis quotation. He can run. Walter? But he can't hide. But he can't hide, very good. General knowledge, back to you, Timberwolves. The star of Delhi is the world's largest what? Zach S. Diamond. It is not diamond. Indians, chance to steal this general knowledge question. The star of Delhi is the world's largest what? Antonio. Mm. Decagon. It is not decagon. Emerald. Emerald is what we're looking for. North, back to you. Vocabulary is the category. What term is, is used to express the literal meaning or the dictionary definition of a word? Is it connotation, annotation, or denotation? Jacob. Denotation. Denotation. Timberwolves, artists is your category. What prolific artist painted the old guitarist? Seth. Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso. Indians, another, another art question. This, again, dealing with paint, but terminology. Since the 1950s, many artists prefer what durable plastic paints as compared to oils? Jacob? Acrylic. It is acrylics. 
You guys got to be careful that you can't give hand signals like that. It was pretty obvious. Okay. Back to you, Timberwolves. Another business question, this time taxes. You have just accepted a new job and must fill out federal, a federal form which specifies the number of dependents wish you, that you wish to claim. This form is most often referred to by what two characters? Is that in? A W-2. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this business taxes question. You have just accepted a new job and must fill out a federal form which specifies the number of dependents you wish to claim. This form is often referred to by what two characters? Antonio. A 1040. It is not a 1040. When you're filling it out, it's a W-4, a W-4 at the beginning. Indians, you have the next question. Science, specifically anatomy. Identify the small, flat, triangular bone in the human body not directly connected with any other bone. Muscle attaches to this bone. Jacob? The pubic bone? It's not the pubic bone. Timberwolves, chance to steal this science anatomy question. Identify the small, flat, triangular bone in the human body not directly connected with any other bone. Muscle attaches to this bone. Zach S. Hyoid. I'm pardon me? The hyoid. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. It's the patella, the patella, or the kneecap. Timberwolves, coming back to you again, another science question. Botany is the question. There is a group of plants, all under one name, which are, which are among the oldest plants in the world. There are about 8,000 different varieties of them, and they grow wherever the soil is not covered by snow or ice. Most of them are relatively small and used as decorative house or yard plants. Seth. Fern. Fern. North, you have the next category, and it is European history. Consider Peter the Great, Joseph Stalin, and Boris Yeltsin. Which of those three ruled over the smallest expanse of territory? Antonio. Boris Yeltsin. It is Yeltsin. Timberwolves, sports is your category. Sports and activities should be the category. What does the acronym SCUBA stand for? Time on that. Indians, you do have a chance to steal this category right before halftime. What does the acronym SCUBA stand for? Self-contained self underwater breathing apparatus, SCUBA. All right, at that time, it does denote the end of our first half, and we have Shawnee Mission North with a slight lead of score of 9 to Blue Valley Southwest 7. As we head into our halftime, we will uh, go with our campus update. And it looks like, Seth, you're giving us the update for the Timberwolves. So what's happening at Southwest? So last week, we wrapped up our fall sports. Uh, the girls and boys uh, cross-country team both played, uh, were both runner-ups in their state competition. And our boys' soccer team finished fourth. So as we uh, entered dead week, we had a blood drive today. And as you can see, I donated. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> um, it kind of hurt, but um, <laughs> um, but also tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, we have Hoops for Hope, which was started by Blue Valley Southwest about five years ago, which is a charity basketball tournament. And this year, we are welcoming Blue Valley West and Blue Valley High to the f festivities. So um, as long as we see it growing, then our benefit towards uh, the V Foundation and uh, Children's Mercy is uh, increased. Well, that's awesome. That's, a, that's great that it's growing that much. That's awesome. And Shona Mission North, Emily, you are giving the update for the Indians. All right. Well, our cheerleaders competed this Saturday at the Shawnee Mission West Cheer Competition, and we won the Spirit Award. And our cross country went to state last weekend, and this weekend they're going to the Nike Cross Nationals. So that should be exciting. And this past week we had a musical at North, The Fantastics, and then we have Adam's Family Auditions this week. And our Strolling Strings got to perform at Union Station, and they met Frank White. So that was really, oh. uh, really exciting. And our winter sports start next week. Fantastic. All right. Did anybody take advantage of going down to the Royals Parade? Yeah. It was a little too crazy for me to get down there. I get a little claustrophobic. All right. 
As we head into the second half, it is going to be our lightning round. And as tradition here on Categories, we will start our lightning round with our look and listen question, which is worth two points. We do have a monitor here in the studio for our contestants, and we will be displaying that on the screen for you playing at home. So here we go. Uh, both, let me remind the contestants, once you ring in, we are not able to stop the video and replay it. So we have to go forward from that point on. So here we go, both teams, hands on buzzers. Here's our look and listen question. A medallion inside this building divides what into four quadrants? <whistles> Seth. Oh, jeez. Uh, the capital. I cannot accept that. I'm sorry. Sean Mission North. A medallion inside this building divides what into four quadrants? Jacob. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C., that is correct. And with that response, you have opened up a little bit more of a lead. The score right now is Shawnee Mission North 11, Southwest 7. As we continue with our lightning round, the questions will be placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team still gets the chance to steal that category. So both teams starting off with general knowledge, specifically food. A mild cheese coated with red wax and named for a Dutch town is called what? Jacob? Gouda. It is Gouda. World geography, language for both teams. This country has two official languages. They are Spanish and Quechua, a native tongue. Jacob. Peru. It is Peru. Economics, specifically economic history. In his 1943 program for post-war planning, British economist John Maynard Keynes called for an international central bank, a return to the gold standard, an end to tariffs, or amnesty for Germany? Seth. Amnesty for Germany. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. North, chance to steal this economic history question. In his 1943 program for post-war planning, British econom economist John Maynard Keynes called for an international central bank, a return to the gold standard, an end to tariffs, or amnesty for Germany. Jacob. An international central bank. A central bank is the answer, correct. General knowledge for both teams. In the press, or the press is sometimes referred to as the fourth branch of government. However, what did R. Buckminster Fuller call the third parent? Jacob. The media. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Timberwolves, chance to steal this general knowledge question. The press is sometimes referred to as the fourth branch of government. However, what did R. Buckminster Fuller call the third parent? Zach S. Television. It is television. Yeah, we need to be specific on that one. Ancient history for both teams. On what earlier alphabet is the Cyrillic alphabet largely based? Walter. Uh, the Phoenician alphabet. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Timberwolves, chance to steal this ancient history question. On what earlier alphabet is the Cyrillic alphabet largely based? Zach S. The Greek alphabet? It is the Greek alphabet. <laughs> U.S. history for both teams. Although the White House is the popular name for the president's home, what is the official name of the White House? Zach S. The presidential mansion. I'm sorry, I cannot accept that. Indians, chance to steal this U.S. history question. Although the White House is the popular name for the president's home, what is the official name of the White House? The executive mansion, executive mansion. Both teams, literature is the category. Many of the outstanding names of British literature were born in Ireland. Which of the following was not? Was it James Joyce? Jacob? James Joyce. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> Timberwolves, chance to steal this literature question. Many of the outstanding names of British literature were born in Ireland. Which of the following was not? James Joyce, Will William Butler Yeats, Jonathan Swift, 
Alexander Pope or George Bernard Shaw? Zach N. George Bernard Shaw. I'm sorry, it's Alexander Pope. Alexander Pope. General knowledge for both teams. What annual fair by a stream near Dublin was so notorious for its uproars that the name now means brawl or uproar? Jacob. A tumult? It's not a tumult. Timberwolves, chance to steal this general knowledge question. What annual fair by a stream near Dublin was so notorious for its uproars that its name now means brawl or uproar? Zach N. Skirmish. It's not a skirmish. It's a Donnybrook. A Donnybrook. Shakespeare for both teams. What two lines, or a couplet, are chanted by three witches in the play Macbeth as they mix a potion? Jacob. Double, double, toil and trouble. Sorry, cannot accept that. Timberwolves, chance to steal this Shakespeare question. What two lines or couplet are chanted by three witches in the play Macbeth as they mix a potion? Zach S. Double, double, toil and trouble, put them in the pot and make it bubble. <laughs> I'm sorry, close. <laughs> Not close enough. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire, burn, and cauldron bubble. History for both teams. What did Will Rogers call the capital of this new colony after being exiled from Massachusetts? Michael. Rhode Island? Or Providence? Yes, we will accept that. Very good. World geography for both teams. Which Spanish city gave its name to a variety of oranges? Michael. Naval? It's not naval. Indians, chance to steal this world geography question. What Spanish city gave its name to a variety of oranges? Antonio. Seville? No, it's not Seville. Valencia. Valencia <laughs> oranges. Vocabulary, word origin. The name Latin derives from Latium, a place, na a place name describing what modern day country? Jacob. The Vatican. It's not the Vatican. Timberwolves, chance to steal this word origin category. The Latin, excuse me, the name Latin derives from Latium, a place name describing what modern day? Seth. Italy. It is Italy. You've narrowed the gap a bit here. Shawnee Mission North 14, Southwest 11. Fine Arts Theater. What state does Nellie Forbush say in South Pacific? She is as corny as a month. Excuse me, she is as corny as in the month of August. Michael. Iowa. It is not Iowa. Indians, chance to steal this fine arts theater question. What state does Nellie Forbush say in South Pacific? She is corny as in the month of August. Jacob. Nebraska. It is not Nebraska. She says Kansas. All right, consider that official warning. Irish mythology is the next category for both teams. Banshees, the Banshee's most valuable asset in her ability is to foretell what? Michael. A person's death. A person's death, very good. Literature, authors for both, for both teams. The first Pulitzer Prize for general nonfiction went to an account of a presidential election. Name that author. It's Theodore White in 1960. Science, specifically the atmosphere. By what process do small water droplets suspended in the air combine to grow larger drops? Seth. Condensation. Cannot accept condensation. Indians, chance to steal this science atmospheres question. By what process do smaller, or small water droplets suspended in the air combine to grow larger drops? 
Jacob. Conglomeration. It's not conglomeration. Coalescence. Coalescence. Sports. Fitness. A good fitness program should raise the heart rate to what percent of its maximum heart rate? Seth. 60. Cannot accept 60. Indians, chance to steal this a sports fitness category. A good fitness program should raise the heart rate to what percent of its maximum heart rate? Antonio. 20%. It's not 20. It's 80. 80%. World history for both teams. Name the site of the August 1944 conference among the U.S., Britain, Russia, and Jacob. Yalta. I'm sorry. That is incorrect. Michael. Tehran. I cannot accept that either. It's Dumbarton Oaks. China was also invited to that meeting. By uh, U.S. history for both teams. By January 1863, Grant's failure to capture this city almost made it necessary in the public opinion for President Lincoln to dismiss Grant as general in the, of the Union Army. What? Walter. Richmond. It is not Richmond. Tim Rolls, chance to steal this U.S. history question. By January 1863, Grant's failure to capture this city almost made it necessary in the public opinion for President Lincoln to dismiss Grant as general of the Union Army. What city? Zach N. Atlanta. It is not Atlanta. Vicksburg. Vicksburg. <laughs> general knowledge. Cars. On a car, applying a solution of baking soda will reduce the corrosion on what? Antonio. The engine. Can I accept the oh. engine? Tim Rolls, chance to steal this general knowledge? Seth? Paint. Can I accept paint? It's on the battery connectors, the battery connectors. Literature for both teams. What 1970 work by a Yale law professor, Charles Reich, details, or excuse me, deals with the ideals of the new generation? The greening of America. Science, biology. Through what process does the amoeba remove its waste? Seth. Excretion. Can I accept excretion? Indians, chance to steal this biology question. We'll give you a chance to finish it off. Through what process does the amoeba remove its waste? Through diffusion, diffusion. That siren does denote the end of our contest, and Shawnee Mission North won a close one here, a score of 14 to Blue Valley Southwest 12. Please uh, join us again next time here on Categories as we will continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all throughout Johnson County.